Hey everyone, I'm Mark Sievers, and today it is my signature grocery store flowers made fabulous, and I'm gonna show you how to deconstruct a mixed bouquet. So mixed bouquets in the grocery store, typically not my go-to, because I do like to choose the colors and things like that, but I get that a mixed bouquet is a great bargain. You can get them uh, at the corner deli in your neighborhood. You can get all kinds of mixed bouquets at any grocery store. So I'm gonna show you how I am gonna take a $10 bunch of flowers and turn it into color block small arrangements that I can put down the center of the table. Each person at their place setting can get a little vase of flowers. You can put them around your apartment, on the, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, wherever your heart is happy. So first, let's get started. We need a few things. Of course, we need a mixed bouquet from the grocery store. So I typically buy the one that's $10 to $15. That seems to have, I think, better flowers in it too, kind of higher quality flowers and uh, a lot more of them. I also have some great flower shears. I love my shears. I've had these for probably 10 years. Um, search flower shears online and you'll get a bunch of options. You can also use scissors or just a sharp knife and a cutting board. So no fancy equipment needed. And then I have these wonderful little bistro glasses. In Europe, you get these all the time with wine, very charming. And I have about seven of them laid out with some warm water. I'm not really sure how many I'm gonna end up with until I dive into the bouquet, so let's discover together. So first things first, we're gonna open up the bouquet. Perfect. And we're gonna color block the flowers. So, let's just get this out of the way for us. If you guys ever watched live versions of Julia Child back in the 60s, and she would take whatever she's doing and she'd throw it on the ground. Oh, I just did it. I tell you that story because it's actually quite funny. There used to be people below there catching what she was throwing. Um, I don't have anyone down here but puppies, so I have to be careful what I throw down there. Um, okay, back to flowers. <laughs> Little tidbit there. So this is, let's see, we have some yellow and some white and pink and some pink. So I'm just gonna kind of color block and some yellow and some beautiful wispy greens. I love these. And gorgeous purple, Take purple here. And I'm, let me give you a little overhead of what I'm doing here. So I'm just kind of, nothing fancy, I'm just kind of making some little piles. So this purple is slightly uh, more blue than this one. So that's gonna be a different pile, I think. My favorite flower, white hydrangeas. So of course that gets its own special pile. And then some other purple ones, some beautiful little yellow roses. Yellow, more yellow, lots of yellow in here. Well, it is spring in Chicago. Well, kind of, uh, we're working on it at the moment. Wherever it is, I hope the weather that you're having you love. <laughs> so here we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, so we have six different colorways here. And now I'm gonna bring you back up to the screen and we're gonna start really arranging. There's no real formula here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this beautiful hydrangea, strip off the bottom leaf, and then what I like to do is just kind of eyeball it to see how short you want your stem. Hydrangeas I like to cut on the bias, on the diagonal, and then cut the stem again up through the center. That's gonna allow that flower to drink the most water. Hydrangeas have a very thick stem, so you want them to be nicely hydrated. So, I mean, how simple is that, right? So this is like one and done. So that goes down to the side, and we're gonna keep going. So I have, let's see, this one has some beautiful yellow flowers, so we're gonna, and I just like to keep them, the vases nearby, and I just find what I'm gonna cut, and. Color block with some yellow here. I have a, some beautiful yellow filler flowers, which these are gonna be perfect. And you just kind of do this at your own pace. And as you can see, these little bistro glasses really do get filled in really quickly, which I love because you're gonna get Imagine how beautiful if you're having a really gorgeous dinner party outside and you set these all down a big picnic table or something. This is like super chic, so simple, and 
one of my favorite things. So I'll do some yellow ones, just more yellow ones to go into that same, give you a little overhead here. So as you can see what I was saying, you just kind of plop these in to these little bistro glasses. You can use anything that holds water. So if you don't have these little glasses, anything else will work. And I am gonna do these gorgeous wispy greens because these are gonna be so beautiful. These kind of have a very airy quality to them and I just love them. So as you can see, you just kind of keep on, you just kind of keep on keeping on. <laughs> and you get the most beautiful little arrangements, or in the business, they're called nosegays. So this is something that you can do as a group. This is a great way to kind of extend your weekly budget too. I know I am not happy when I don't have fresh flowers in the house. So this is a great way to, to have flowers on a budget because for $10, you can really have beautiful flowers all over your home. So I'm gonna keep on going, and but you kinda get the drift. It's really quick, it's really simple, and please let me know if you do this at home. I think you should try it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is also a great way if you have wildflowers growing in your garden, you can chop all the different colors and and categorize them and color block them. I just think it's a wonderful way to really appreciate the beauty of flowers. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, head over to markseeruth.com where you can learn more about my two books, recipes, and of course, lots of entertaining tips and tricks. Also, find me on Instagram at markjsevers because there'll be a photo of this finished, uh, these finished arrangements waiting for you. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys, I'm going back to flower arranging. Ooh, purple. Purple next, I think. That is perfect. Purple is perfect. Bye guys.